In this video, we will learn some common practices to follow around Copado rollback and the steps to perform a rollback in your Copado instance. Most enterprises have a rollback strategy in place, just so that if anything goes wrong in production, they can revert the changes. However, these rollback strategies are often untested, which results in downtime and data loss. With the Copado rollback feature, you can quickly compare and select only those changes you want to roll back, which saves you time and final hour slip-ups. Let's begin with some useful practices for performing a Copado rollback. These will help you get the most out of your rollback process and avoid any potential issues. Enable rollback for business-critical environments. By enabling the rollback feature for environments like UAT or production, you can easily minimize storage consumption during deployments. Keep deleting your rollback backup files from time to time. Rollbacks can consume a significant amount of storage depending on the number and size of the deployments in the pipeline. Therefore, it is important to execute cleaning scripts that can delete your rollback backup files from your org. Decide when to roll back and when to not. When you roll back metadata components, it could have an impact on the associated data records as well. Therefore, in some scenarios, rollback is not a suitable choice. Hence, it is better to understand the difference between rollback and rollover so you can decide which one to go for, depending on the situation. Enable the rollback before the deployment date. Make sure you enable the rollback feature in the destination environment before the date of the deployment you're trying to roll back, so that the necessary files are available to execute a rollback for this deployment. Compare your metadata changes before the rollback. Before you perform the rollback, make sure you compare the changes to understand how they will impact your deployment. Now you know about the Copado rollback best practices, let's see how to perform rollback in Copado. As you can see, we have promoted three user stories to the UAT environment. Now let's imagine that during UAT testing, you discovered that account sales object has some issues in terms of the latest data retrieving and needs to be tested again. And now you need to roll this field back. To do so, let's click rollback button. Here you can find the list of metadata that was originally deployed. Now from here, you can select the metadata that we want to roll back. Before you do that, let's compare the metadata. As you notice, the source bucket is empty because the system will create a new field during the rollback. On the other hand, you can see that the account sales object lives in the target environment UAT as this was promoted to UAT. Now go back and click Confirm Metadata. Here you can also define the test level for your deployment. For now, we will leave it as is and click Start Deployment. Now your rollback process has been completed. Let's verify whether your field has been deleted from the UAT environment. As you can see, the account sales object has been deleted from the UAT environment. Well done! Now you know the best practices to follow around Copado rollback and how to perform rollback as well. Go ahead and roll back your deployed changes. Good luck!